Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. By now, you guys all know that we no longer own an RV. So do you wanna see where we've been living since we had to move out? At least where our stuff has been living? You wanna see how much stuff an RV takes up? We don't have one or two, we have three storage units. <laughs> Three. Dun dun dun, here it goes. <laughs> You're probably wondering, why do you have three? Well, we actually just have one. They must have had to sell on doors. <laughs> I don't know, I don't quite understand all the doors, but. I've already figured okay. it out. They have it already so where it could be divided into three oh, different sections. They don't need to have They just decided to leave unit. it. I thought yeah. maybe they had to sell, like if you buy X amount of small doors, you get a deal. <laughs> right. And they just said, hey, let's give them three doors instead of one. Hey, I like it. We got multiple options going in and out. It's okay. Phil. What do you think about all this good stuff? I want door number one. <laughs> <laughs> he, wants oh, those, yes. he wants that Brooklyn bedding. That's what he wants. <laughs> hey, y'all know what this is? <laughs> That's, That's good right. stuff. I bet Kevin could tell us. <laughs> Correct, Phil. That is an RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. RVmattress.com is a Brooklyn Bedding brand known for top of the line comfort and quality. Plus, they have a factory in Arizona and ship conveniently to you for free anywhere in the U.S. They offer different firmness options, heights and dimensions, even RV specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. When we first got our RV and we knew we were gonna live in it full time, one of the first things we did is we had to get rid of that stock mattress. And we went with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. We actually purchased with our own money and we were telling you guys about it for over a year before they decided to work with us. We went with the Signature Hybrid and the RV King because it fits right into our master space and it's the most comfortable mattress we've ever slept on including all of our sticks and bricks. And when it came time to upgrade the kids' room, it was a no-brainer to go with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding because we know the comfort and the quality that they provided. So we decided to rip out the Habit Jack bed system in the toy hauler and replace it with a second queen-size bed. We went with the Dream Foam Essential Memory Foam and the 8-inch model because it provides our girls with two queen-size mattresses to enjoy. Plus, it works well with the Habit Jack bed system when stowed in the travel position on travel days. We know choosing a mattress can be a big decision. That's why RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding offers a 120 night sleep trial and they back it up with a 10 year warranty. RVmattress.com delivers your mattress to your door for free anywhere in the United States. Plus it comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up yourself. And we're not the only ones who love this brand. RVmattress.com's Dream Foam Essential Memory Foam just won Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award. Good job, Brooklyn Bedding. We love our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and we think you would too. If you're in the market for a new mattress, head over to rvmattress.com. You can check the link in the description below or go to rvmattress.com forward slash paving new pass to save yourself 25% off your new mattress with the code paving new pass. Once again, thanks to rvmattress.com for sponsoring this video and their continued support of this channel. Now stay tuned because next month they're taking our sponsorship to a new level and they're gonna help us with our new path in life. Can't wait to show you guys. All right, before we get started, the most important thing we have in here is right here, Phil. It's something very near and dear to you. I thought he said the most important thing was me, Phil. <laughs> look at him, oh. look at him, people. It's Lord. time for the supervisor Lord. to assume his duty. Phil? <laughs> I hadn't seen this thing in a while. Oh, uh. oh baby. He don't show Lolo that kind of attention. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you don't just flop down in the chair this this distinguished. You kind of ease into it, kind of wiggle a little bit. There uh, you go. I did not realize there was so much effort involved in sitting in a chair. I just thought you <laughs> laid over in it and just called it a day. When you're the supervisor, you perfect the skill. He You've just got it perfected. He just described sitting in a chair like he was writing a five-page paper and had to, had to get so many paragraphs. You know what the difference is, though? You said sitting in the chair. This is a chair, my chair. <laughs> That's uh -huh. Bill's chair. That's right. This is, this is almost holy. All right, so here's some ground rules. As we talk about the things in here, Okay. You can only talk about them if you're sitting in the chair. You can't be sneaking away and getting <laughs> stuff because you brought your he brought his truck. I know. He's gonna try to sneak things into his truck, <laughs> so he's being supervised to the chair. <laughs> Pull that truck all around, Lolo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> Where to begin? 
So it turns out, even though you live in an RV, this all came from the RV, by the way. There was no storage unit holding some of this stuff. We, had, we didn't own this until we decided to pack everything out of the RV. And uh, You know that's gonna bring on, that's why your frame flexed, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Comments. Well, if you got that comment, you can go watch the video about our RV not being overweight. <laughs> so that's why it didn't frame flex. Right. <laughs> but anyway, we're out of the RV game, so let's stop talking about RVs. There we go. Well, one more time we're gonna talk about RVs, because we got some things in here that we don't need anymore and maybe you guys might need. So several of you have reached out to us since learning about our frame issues and wanted to know, are we gonna sell anything? And you wanted us to reach out to you to, if we were gonna put things for sale. So, welcome to the video. Things are for sale. Tell them this chair is not for sale. <laughs> Phil's chair is not for sale. <laughs> for the right price, Phil's chair is for sale. <laughs> and for the right price, you can actually have Phil too. <laughs> <laughs> Lolo won't balk at that. <laughs> no return policy. You, or you buy, you keep. <laughs> we might even deliver. What are y'all doing? Swinging. We I thought you guys were supposed to help us with the storage unit. Oh. Are you helping? Yeah. You are? By the way, we may or may not have offered Phil and his chair for sale. Oh. <laughs> and we said that you might deliver him. Hey, we might rent. You want to rent, Phil? Rent. That's the thing to do. Oh, wait, you're, we're supposed to be leaving and you're throwing toys out? <laughs> and I just found it, so why not let him play? <laughs> Your mom kind of likes the idea of maybe renting Phil out. <laughs> when she's had enough, you get him for a few days and bring him on. Hey, <laughs> so are we going to charge him by the hour or by the story? Story would probably be the money maker. Do you hear that? We're going to rent him by the story. <laughs> you better have a lot of money. <laughs> All right, so much for all my helpers. They're going to play on the playground. Phil, it's back to me, you, and Alicia. Oh, my. <laughs> oh my what you think, Lolo? Uh, you you think we should uh, get rid of the storage unit and bring all this to your house? No. <laughs> There's no room. If only there were room. Is this all the stuff we're going to keep? Um, Good stuff, up. Is Mom's this all the stuff we're we going to keep until we find our new house? This is our stuff that we're going to keep. Well, some of it. Some of it is not going to be keeping because we don't need it anymore. Right. Some of it we're going to send to new homes because other people can use it. Since we don't need our RV stuff anymore. Yes, so we're going to get away with some the RV stuff where I can't go to the house. Right. But we are going to keep all your toys and all your stuffed animals, okay? All 4,000 of them. Like... Like Look at you! What are you digging through stuff? I need this for my electric bike that I have now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs a bubble machine. Yeah, a blower. Oh, Phil, you hear that? There's a blower in here. Look at it. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't really need these anymore. Uh, uh, Our gas stop safety propane valves. <clears throat> Phil, <laughs> we've already tried this on yours. They don't work. You have the wrong connection. They do make some for you if you wanted to go buy them, but these won't work for you. Oh, I'll take them in there swamp. Okay. <laughs> don't tell them By the way, if y'all want those, call us. Actually, don't call us. You don't have our number. Reach out to us. <laughs> They're probably he broke. He can't don't keep call it him. all. <laughs> They're probably broke. Don't call him. I'll take care of them. <laughs> You'll see them to the trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Phil, here's some more propane and propane accessories. This is the stuff I had to uh, run my Blackstone off of the RV without disconnecting anything. But uh, uh now, but, now I'm gonna pull a fill and be like, can't we use that at the house? With we the already propane? have the parts that we can use at the house. Oh, okay. This is the ex this is the RV to keep uh, everything hooked up and still like have like the stuff in the RV working oh. and the Blackstone. These are the things. Okay. I've already stolen the things that actually work for just the Blackstone. Gotcha. But if you need a long extension and a T, we got you covered. We got you covered. That'll Phil? Y'all well, are going to have to just call Phil. This will work on my <laughs> When your lap gets full, you have to stop. Here's some good stuff for you. Does anybody need <laughs> this is work. <laughs> a miniature shovel? It actually folds up, I think. This thing was so cool, yeah. 
No, I think this one was, oh yeah, it does fold down, yeah, to be more compact. I think it folds down even more than that. Wait, this is how much we used it. We did use it On the beach. Yeah, on the beach and then with the, the pine straw. Oh, look at that. That's it's like a pocket shovel. So handy. <laughs> Here you go, uh, Phil. Uh, you know, that's got low, low road off. <laughs> she does like some yard work. So Remember that you pull out, I think. Pull the... I remember that. That's oh, that back scratcher, isn't it? I use that a lot in Florida with the Florida pine straw. <laughs> Who put it up last? Hmm. It feels <clears throat> not put up correctly. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, we almost got filled! Mm. Oh, not my. only can you rate rain. Y'all should get this. It's not that I don't know how to use it. This actually was a really cool thing, yeah. especially when you uh, camp around pine straw. Right. You can, you are like, you make your sight so awesome. <laughs> you know what you can use that for though? What? Something right now. You are in the horse and cow business, aren't you? We got real rakes. <laughs> hey, you can scratch it back with that. That's what I was just thinking. Dad's gonna think this is a great back scratcher. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Oh, baby. Every man. I said every man needed a hatchet every when you go RVing. Every man needs a we, hatchet. We, we use this like four times, but it's just because it's principle. Every man needs to have a hatchet. Whether he needs it or not, you have to have one. It's mandatory. And you're giving it away. I might give it away. Okay. <laughs> if anyone needs a hatchet. Now that, now that okay. we don't have an RV, I can buy an actual man-sized <laughs> hatchet. <laughs> okay. Here you go, Phil. Thank you. <laughs> Phil can't keep it all. Please reach out to us. Lolo's gonna kill us. <laughs> hey, ain't nobody even know I got it. That's called a concealed weapon. <laughs> this is how you end up in the ER with these stories of, I don't know how I stabbed myself. I just put a hatchet under my shirt trying to conceal it. And now here I am in the ER. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's getting it. He got it. me! <laughs> Ooh. We definitely don't oh, need this. Oh yeah, this is a good, good buy for somebody. This is a 50 foot. It'll actually work. Screw into your RV. A 50 foot, 50 amp cord. It's yep. very heavy. We'll throw these little handy dandy <laughs> straps in that hang if you have the little you wanna, carabiners. You want to try, try to hold it up? No thanks. <laughs> I've been Did, there, I mean, done that. Now, if you, Come if on, this, show me how it's done, ranch This may hand. be why the, the frame broke. Ranch Carrying this many things oh around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Phil? Good news is you have a 30 amp, so you don't need this. Here comes some more work. A 16 foot extendable ladder. That gun would have been a 15 foot or I'd get it. Oh, it's a 16 <laughs> foot put you over the limit? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure we, to hide. Well, guess what? You can make it as tall or as short as you need it. Oh, Lord. They thought of everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I bought this thing, I thought I was going to do so many ladder activities. I did it for like the first month. And then you start to realize how much of work it was to get to the ladder. <laughs> yeah, then it became, can I drive the truck over to whatever I need to reach and just stand on the bed rail? Cause that's a whole lot easier than getting this ladder out. It was, it was. <laughs> yeah. We're not making a good case for selling our things. <laughs> well, I mean, if you need to get somewhere and you're not tall, this is the way to do it. Yeah, it's definitely sturdy. But you, you start to like uh, go, well, if I have to get the ladder out, let's do X, Y, and Z while it's out. It creates more work, yeah. yes. So let's save it for the weekend, get it out and work all day, and then put it away. <laughs> yeah, but I'd tell you to load that up for me, but I'd hate to see the red fall off it. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants giant rugs? Not one, but two giant rugs for the front of your RV. Give These them. things were actually pretty cool out west. Yep. Give them the disclosure about the holes that are in the... Oh, there's holes from the nails in the corners. Yes. So there's a few holes, but you need the holes because you got to nail down the little holders. Otherwise, it's going to flap and blow away on you. So you're saying uh, you don't charge that extra to have the preset holes? Right, in? right. There you go. There you go. Yeah, we learned the hard way. The first time we were like, let's just put them out. They'll be so cool. And then the first wind came by and it literally blew it came up against up, the side of yeah, the RV. It came up onto the RV. And I was like, I'm going to go to Lowe's and get some more nails. <laughs> you guys are do it, make a cat out of it. Two of these. We so, got two of these. And what size are they probably? Um, Giant. They, they, yeah. they covered our whole RV with two of them together. So yeah. like... 35, 38 foot of like from the front door, baggage door to the end. Yeah, from yeah. the front baggage door to the back entrance door um, on the side. So they don't go all the way back, but you don't need them to go all the way back. Our Blue Tech water filter and water softener. 
So we don't really need it because we don't have an RV, but I think I can might be able to make it work with the house life. There you go. Maybe. I'm just probably way too small for houses, but the idea is there. You could probably decide like one faucet gets extra better water. He's been hanging out with Phil too long. <laughs> he doesn't want to part with his stuff. <laughs> oh wait, there's more. There's more. There's more. All right, so we got this one. When cleaning out and this one. the storage unit or the basement area, I found all these hoses. So we could really hook this up from I know, like a mile away and still get there. Still have great drinking water. <laughs> Did you hook it up for your hot water heater? So these have the quick connects. Uh-huh. All of them have the quick connects. Yep. And they're oh. what? Probably 20 feet? Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. There's a lot there's of them. There's a lot. <laughs> there's about four different ones here. Not really sure if this is for sale, but uh, it might be. We, uh, we're we going to see if we can reuse it for our new life. But if you want it, Maybe reach you can out. have it. And if, for those of you who don't know how to reach out to us, we have an email address at, it's called hello at pavingnewpaths.com. Or if you find us on Facebook at Paving New Paths, you can send us a direct message there. What's next? This is going to be a good one. All right. People ask me this all the time. <clears throat> oh, yes. Here, you need some help? So these are the holders. So show them, show them how it works here. Well, first of all, these are these little outdoor shower nozzles. Yep, with the quick right? connect. And then they just sit. Yes, everyone always asks where we get these. We got them on Amazon, but we can't find them lately. So then you get a nozzle that has all the different options. And we got two of those. We got two of those and two holders. Come and get them. I mean, I, these might be the only two left in existence because I can't <laughs> even find them anymore. I don't know where I bought them from on I Amazon, know. but it just shows that like the link's dead. Right. So we bought the last two. <laughs> they can be out. yours. Don't tell him. This is the good stuff. Shh. <laughs> you know those fancy lights in the top of your RV? Oh, the puck lighting. Actually, yeah. I have no idea. There's a box full of stuff. <laughs> I'm going to show you everything in it. If you need it or want it, reach out to us. I just told Kevin, if there's something specific you're looking for, we probably have it. We may not show everything because this video would be extra long. So just reach out to us and we can probably work a deal. Why do we have this? That's a vent cover because one of ours cracked. I see, I or remember, remember this little thing or no this little thing but this stopped. one's fixed so yeah. it must have been a two-pack it came in a two-pack yep we saved it so you have a broken vent yeah, and you need to get it yeah other covers lots and lots of puck lights because oh man look at all this good stuff oh, we got a furnace wheel all right whatever that is we got carefree of colorado parts oh that's awning um what do you call those covers because ours flew off in the wind. We have this couch pull strap guaranteed to last forever. We'll never break on you. <laughs> we only replaced ours about three or four times. In our defense, I think our children had a lot to do with it. But yeah, if you need a new pull string for your couch, there you go. The stock converter. So if you have a lead acid battery, we have a stock converter because ours had lithium. So we upgraded to a here. lithium one. Let me get this. It's, it's a WIFCO. Important info right here. WIFCO. 98.55. All right. Don't, don't scratch our good stuff. Don't scratch our good stuff. Oh. You can put some. We have over a capacitor there. for uh, ACs. Okay. And. Well, this is all PEC stuff. This might actually work in real life for our okay. future life. Okay. What is it? Oh, we have a furnace control board. Who has a fireplace that isn't working? No, we, no, no. Furnace. Oh. Furnace oh, control board. You see how much I know. Furnace. <laughs> and a sale switch. All so right. there's that. That's actually uh that's actually good stuff. Is it? Okay. Good stuff. You know how I know? Because it's in this box. That means it's good. So okay. it's not only good, it's actually good. Yeah. Tire link stuff. Oh yeah. It's spare parts, not the whole system. Yeah. An air admitted valve. Did we take our tire links off of our RV? They stay with the RV. Oh, okay. Air admit valve. Yeah. Air and then it's valve. Those are those things under the sink that make the, uh, oh, the make, poo poo make smells the come in. Go bye bye. Man. Oh, look at this. We can actually put this away. So, this is our stock non wet bolts for our suspension oh. that we kept in case our wet bolts broke on the road. Right. We would have we spare would have parts stock. to get off the side of the road. Right. Don't need that. But somebody might need stock parts. If you want some, some Moride shackles and stock pins, 
Yep. Hit us up. Because they're still great. If we give them to the Phil, they're going to sit in the back seat of his truck for another year or two, and then we'll finally give them away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking at this axe that you give me, and I've been trying to pull that thing off. And I said, well, I took the right arm. I mean, it won't come off. <laughs> I said, well, there's got to be a dead gun. What is this? Oh, look at that. Easy. Nope. Look, you got it off on this side. There you go. Was he scheming out there? I never, I never had an axe with a... With a cover? Yeah, with a cover. You just lost it. <laughs> no. The axe and the cover. Please, please I started to give it back to you because I couldn't get it open. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> All right, what else? Um, we have some more RV boxes over here. All right, so I was just digging, and in reference to the water filtration system from Blue Tech that we might be selling if we don't keep, we also have a ton of the filters that go in it. So, well, those are actually for the RV. Those are oh nine, yeah, this one. Yeah, this is for those RV, but ones. but these are Blue Tech. So that, there's your tasty one. There is your longevity one, and there's one other one. There we go, off grid. So, we have filters. What do you got? I got, I got, it's called moving day stuff. It's stuff I used all the time for yeah. moving day. This is my little oh, yeah, with your leader flow. hose for my flushing tanks. With your flow meter, right? Uh-huh. All right. You oh. watched, have you been watching Paving New Paths? I was listening a few times in those videos. Most of the time I assume, as soon as I tell her the video is about <laughs> RV stuff, she goes, do I have to watch it? <laughs> I mean, some of it is not very relatable to me for yeah. the RV maintenance. I'm never going to go out there and work on the RV. So, yeah, those are your videos. Do you, do you know how sad it made me? I'd be like all day long trying to make it exciting. She's like, you're just doing RV stuff. Can, can I watch the one with the kids having fun? <laughs> when your wife doesn't even like it, it makes you go like, well, this one's not going to do well. I'm like all the women on the channel. So when's the kids and the wife coming back? <laughs> Oh. Everyone needs wheel chalks. We actually have two sets of these. Yeah. I bet Phil wants those. 50 to... Nah, you don't need them. <laughs> He's already got a set. 50 to 30 amp dog bone. All right. An assortment of water connections. Oh, yeah. We had a bunch. More cuties and more brass tee fittings and just things you need. Yep. Another 50 to 30 amp. All right. I believe this one we inherited because someone left it. Yes. And the park said, uh, we don't want it. So yes. It. The park did not want to keep it. <clears throat> this is the good one. Well, for me, yes. it was awesome. This is the uh, 50 to 15, so I could plug it up at someone's house in their yard. Yes. Like Uncle Jamie's house is how we ran the RV. Right. This actually is. We're keeping that. <laughs> That's ours. We probably need this We at our need house. that, yeah. And we're turning into your dad. <laughs> we need to start a box Here, of stuff we're keeping. 30 to 15. All right. That would be good for Phil. Another for 30 his to RV. 15. Does okay. he already have this to plug in at Oh, Granny's? this is the opposite one. So it's 15 30, to 30 to 15 that way. Uh -huh. And then this is 30 to 15 that way. So it's, oh, oh is this infinite power? It's 30 back to 30. So Phil doesn't need this? No. Okay. Well, he could use it, but I think he already has one. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. Oh, these things are like gold. Are they? The brass 90s. Hose elbow, brass 90. Okay. What'd you call it? Hose elbow, it says. <laughs> if you told me you got a hose elbow, I'd be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> flow meter. Another flow meter. And this is a bag. I'm going to keep these, but this is a bag if you RV. Just carry those with you, and every time you move, just put about 18 of those in every water connection, and hopefully it stops leaking. <laughs> You're going to keep these? Yeah. Okay. A coffee cup. It's not a coffee cup. <laughs> you know, Alicia called this a coffee cup for the longest time. <laughs> Go get the coffee cup. <laughs> yeah, a lot for the kingpin. Yeah, someone needs that. I see. have to find the key. Oh. Oh, I think I know where it is. It's probably in the truck. It, it was called something. We labeled it. Yeah, we always label things. Yes. We're labelers. The biggest question we get when people find out we're moving out is what are you doing with the washer and dryer? Guess what? We're getting rid of them. <laughs> We've actually had a talk. We may use these on our, our ranch life house because Alicia says, I want you watching ranch clothes and our kid clothes and personal clothes things. So 
We have talked about possibly keeping these, but we also talked about not because you can buy a cheap washer and dryer that you want to ruin anyway, and these are still pretty nice. Yeah, and these, um, I think for ranch life, they just don't put out enough water to get it extra clean. Like you, you need the sanitized cycle. I mean, it does have one, but you need, you need some heavy duty. So I don't think we're gonna keep these, but we possibly could. So for sale is a splendid washer and a splendid dryer. Splendid. Is it splendid or splendid? I, I don't know. I don't we know. Nev we never could agree on that. I think they that. put the E on to make it fancy. <laughs> With splendid. That, that fancy writing. Splendid. Yes. So, I mean, these actually, they worked great for us. We always used quick wash because we've got a ton of laundry. So, I mean, it got through it pretty quick. You just can't put as much as you put in a conventional washer or dryer. Actually, the washing machine, you can put as much as you want. Yeah. The problem comes when you go to the dryer. So, if you stuff that full, you can only put half of it in there if you want to dry in a timely fashion. Yes, so we would hang like t-shirts and things like that just to help not have to dry everything. But it does a great job. Um, you just can't overload that one. And they're stackable. You got the little covers for the bottoms. And the stackable kit. Yep. You know they charge like 80 bucks for that thing, that piece of metal? Wow, I did not know that. No. So we're saving you some money. Reach out to us. A lot of you already have. I do not have the time to go back through emails and messages to remember who's reached out. So if you were one of the people that were interested or if you're just interested, these are for sale. There is one caveat. You have to come get them or you have to pay an extra large shipping amount to have them shipped to you. Actually, I don't know if anyone there is one. Do. There's one thing. Whoever buys them has to help me pick that up because there's no <laughs> way me and Alicia can do it again. Yes. So we did have to do this when we were moving out. I don't know if we filmed that. I don't think so. Uh, it was just us, everyone else had already left, so we really had no choice but to get it out of the RV, and it is the heaviest thing I have ever lifted in my life. Thank God you were there. <laughs> I was convinced there was water in it still. When we got it outside, I pulled the filter, and no, it's just that heavy. So, that thing right there, don't get ready to pick it up unless you're ready to pick it up. Exactly. He's trying, he's trying to convince Lolo. He, he's trying to give you a shovel and a rake and oh, a ladder. A it's a foldable rake. Oh, cool. <laughs> What's that? You're going to let him have it? For the RV? Oh, yeah. You're going to stipulate for the RV. For the RV, he's... not our house. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be in the back seat of your truck for a year. No. <laughs> All, we're gonna make one stop at the RV. <laughs> we have our Gen Y executive pin box. Here she is. It is the 6.5 model and it bolts up to I think a 1621 HD Lippert frame. And I'll make one guarantee for you. This thing is guaranteed to outlast the frame of your RV. <laughs> so if you want something that's gonna last to the end, go ahead and pick yourself up a Gen Y. They're actually very heavy, so you're not going to pick it up by yourself. You need a friend. Probably two if you want it. But this is for sale. All right. On a serious note, we believe, even though we had terrible problems with our RV, we think this is the reason why the RV lasted as long as it did, because we changed this pin box out very early on. And I think it did its job of protecting the RV the best it could from the excessive beating it took down the highway. Yes, I think there's a reason that companies like Brinkley and Lux are- And Full House and, and DRV. Full House and, and DRV, all the, all the big heavy RVs, there's a reason they use this because it's much better than what you get stock. I think it was great for us and I definitely think it's the reason our RV lasted and didn't break on the first year out. Call us, Gen Y Executive Pen Box for sale. And if you're here buying the uh, Gen Y Executive Pen Box, you're gonna need something to hook it to, something in the bed of your truck. We have a B&W Companion Turnover Ball fifth wheel hitch. Was that a good video you just got of it? <laughs> you might need to video it. I'm not real sure what's important. So what's it. <laughs> awesome about this one is it is the B&W Companion Turnover Ball Mount. Meaning, it does not matter if you have a Ford, Chevrolet, or Dodge. If you have the B&W turnover ball kit on your truck, this slides right into it. So, I was able to pick my RV up with this hitch using my buddy's Dodge truck. And then when we got our truck, we installed the B&W turnover ball on our truck, which is a Ford, and this slid right into its place. Now, the good thing about this is because of the way the post is and the adjustability, you can actually move the fifth wheel four inches forward and back 
of the post and the truck, giving you tons of options on heights and where it sits in relation to the axle. So give us a call or email, or I don't know why I say give me a call, where you can't call us. Call Phil, he'll probably have it in his yard. <laughs> but BMW Companion, turnover ball, fifth wheel hitch, paired up with that, make memories same as the washer and dryer you got to come get it because i don't think they're going to ship this that would be extra costly and very hard for the floor delivery guy <laughs> y'all see why they're right here at the edge of the storage <laughs> building by the door because that's as far as we can make it that's all the energy we had <laughs> do you know what this is what is it this is something the internet says doesn't exist anymore that's and right looks like we have one Tell them what it is. The Moride Patio EX. This is the little tent room that goes on your back door, your toy hauler when it's down. It's actually really awesome. We only set it up one time because, well, our kids sleep back there and we weren't comfortable leaving it as a giant tent room all the time while they were sleeping there. Yes, so lots of people that we would see using these on the road, they would just leave them up the entire time they were camping, which I think is awesome. Like if you don't have kids back there and you don't have to worry about them getting out or Things getting out in. like what are the animals they got they got out <laughs> hey kids kids are crazy so we just never felt comfortable leaving our toy hauler door down um but if you're comfortable with that this makes a great room it literally was like a third room for us for the kids to play for buddy to go hang out get some fresh air it was awesome when the toy hauler was down and we had this up our toy hauler like our living room was the middle like we had like a 53 foot yeah RV. yeah it was awesome and i'm gonna make kevin overlay some shots of us using it because i think we still have those should it we was... insert overlay music right yes. now insert overlay music Ta -da. So anyway, this is for sale, but it's not on sale because we know what they're going for. Yes. Also, it's super heavy, so prefer you be local, but uh, if you want this, you're going to have to pay for shipping because I already know it's... I think it weighs like 70 pounds. It's 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 a weird shape and it's heavy, so I already know like the size of the box, yeah. like UPS and FedEx is going to get us on that. Yeah. So preferably, local. we can meet somewhere and can arrange shipping, but... uh. Come get it. And for those of you who don't know, we are in the East Texas area. So if you're passing through Texas, we know everyone's getting back into camping season. If you're gonna pass through Texas, we don't mind holding it for a short period of time with the deposit, but we can't hold it forever because we simply don't have room. The OG original Jack Blocks, the ones I built almost four years ago, and I thought it was a cheesy idea to make a video and Alicia pressured me to make a video on how to build these. Turns out you guys really liked it, and several of you have built these, and I've seen you along the way out there in the wild. Yeah, for reference, I'm probably gonna make you keep one or two of these because they are nostalgic for me. I think we'll find uses for them at some point. You're starting to sound like Phil. I know, <laughs> I do get that gene, honestly. But we at least have four that could potentially go to new homes. These are about 20 pounds a piece, so Probably not shipping those either. Maybe we could just sign them and give them away as a souvenir. <laughs> There's a giveaway. <laughs> a giveaway. Who wants some Jack Blocks signed by some guy that you can just paint over? You can even put good morning on them. <laughs> oh, man. And we could get Phil on one. Sell it of a chair. Phil on a chair. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to have at least four of those, maybe even six. I might let them go, but... I don't know. I guess you could always build us some more. I mean, I could. <laughs> I know There's a, guy, a video. I know a guy who knows how to build them. So, Phil, did you see anything good you want to keep? Oh, oh yeah. This is like Christmas morning. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of good things in there. Did you get approval from Lolo for anything? Well, you know, I, I consulted her on a few of the things, but I just couldn't persuade her, so I quit asking. I got it hit. I see you still got that hatchet right there. Yeah, oh, baby, I know what I'm gonna do with that. What are you gonna do with it? It's not what y'all are thinking. I finally figured out how to get that thing off, so I know how to use it now. I'm gonna take it down into my camp house and split, split uh, kindling. Oh, yeah? Or I'm gonna let somebody else split kindling, and I'll supervise. 
by the way, Phil just recently invited me down to the camp house. Now, <laughs> now I know what I'm doing. So this is our room of all the stuff that we had in our RV. And the reason we're telling you guys about it is because we don't have an RV and we need some of this stuff gone. But we also need to push everything to one side. Yes. Why is that? We've got a surprise coming, but we're not gonna tell you just yet. Alicia has this idea, which I think is, I think it's actually a cool idea. We've seen it done on YouTube before, but there's a place local that we can try it out ourselves. So we're gonna make some room right here because we're gonna try something and uh, maybe it works out or maybe we just, maybe we just spend money on something we shouldn't be spending money on. Maybe we become accumulators. <laughs> there's your hint. Stay tuned to an upcoming video because I think it's going to be a fun one. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We love you, and we'll see you in the next one. What's up? I thought you were going to do this. Were you just saying that for camera? What? You said you were going to do stuff because the camera was on. I am. But, but now the camera's not on, you're telling me to do it. I realize that my reach isn't very reachy to get things into that back corner. So yeah. I need the tall one of the group to reach. <laughs> I'm like my dad, supervise. Guess what we found? How old is this? This is October-ish? Yeah. Remember the uh, the poo-poo incident in the RV that it blew up everywhere? And landed on this person here? Well, I took my shoes off and threw them outside that night because they were covered because we had about two inches of nastiness under us and we just found my shoes. They don't smell terrible, but I'm not even brave enough to open the bag. We'll save this for another day. Maybe next October we'll get around to opening this. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Every time we go to film, Phil's over there whistling. Now he's got the rake out. He's guitaring over there. He's a one-man band. <laughs> hey, play me a tune. Hey, I was a poor boy. You just had to learn how to improvise. <laughs> I was doing hard rock over here. <laughs> hard rock, huh? <laughs>